Hey guys, this is F Spot. Gonna do a quick edit of this photo I took earlier this year. It's been a while since I did one of these uh, Lightroom quote unquote tutorials. I'm not a professional. So, alright, here we go. Let's make this quick and easy. I'm gonna assume that you guys already know how to use Lightroom and the basics. So, I'm not gonna go over any of the, the stuff on the side here. So, alright, let's go right into it. Uh, first thing I usually do is I have a preset just called basics what that does is it automatically just uh, enables profile corrections remove chromatic aberration constraints a crop auto let's see yeah whatever let's see if we can, like tighten that up a little bit uh, let's see mm. Uh, maybe like minus three or something. Oops. Uh, let's try plus three. All right, that's a little more straightened out. Next thing I'm going to do is press R to bring up the crop. Let's see. Uh, let's tighten up this crop here. Right there. Maybe. I'm gonna straighten this out a little bit, maybe. I'll just work with this for now. Um, so. I'm gonna start messing with the temperature a little bit. Let's see. That's too warm. Maybe like thirty with a tint. All right. Um, I'm gonna increase my exposure a little bit here. Let's see. Just a tad. Add a little contrast. Let's see what it looks like with less, more. Highlights. Press Alt. See what parts are highlighted. There you go. Going to increase a little bit of shadow. Uh, maybe increase the whites a little bit as well. Let's see here. Just bring down the blacks a little bit. Looks pretty decent so far. Uh, you should put a little clarity. You know, you put too much like that, it looks like you know, pretty much crap, honestly. You don't want to go for that really high clarity HDR look or whatever. So I'm just going to bump it up just a tad. Let's see, uh, maybe just a little bit more. I usually like color in my photo, so all right. Just gonna keep saturation at the bottom there. Go to the tone curve. Uh, maybe add a little more light. Let's see. Mess with the dark a little bit. Shadows. Just a tad. Um, let's see. We're gonna mess with the saturation of some of these colors. See that aqua color, like right on the window and here, and just a little tad. That's from the traffic light. So I'm gonna probably tone that down just a bit, just to get rid of that ugly tint on the windows here. We're going to start with some graduated filters here. Um, the shadows on this this bottom half of the car is pretty dark, so I'm going to bump it up just a little bit. Hold on, let me reset that. Bring down the highlights just a little bit. Increase the shadow just a tiny bit. 
Next thing is, actually let me straighten out this image just a tad more. It looks a little off. All right, minus two. It's slightly better. All right. So the next thing is brush strokes. Um, this is what I like to do. I don't know about you guys, but let's just dive right into it. So right off the bat, I'm going to let's see, feather flow. I'm going to desaturate the ground just a little bit here. I don't like that yellowish tint. Get rid of that right there. Press O to see your overlays of where you've been uh, painting your brush at. So we can just move some on the car here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so it looks like this, the rear half of this car, um, there wasn't enough lighting right here, so I'm going to probably bump that up with another brush stroke, increase the shadow, probably some exposure. Let's just see how this looks. Let's bring it up just a tad. Let me take off auto mask, actually. Zoom in. I'm going to desaturate this entire wheel because there's this a reddish tint from one of the traffic lights. So I'm going to just do that right here. Boom. Get all that tint out. Right there as well. I'm going to do the same thing on this wheel as well here. I'm going to do a new brush stroke. Let's see. There's some random, you can't really, it's hard to see, but there's some random tint colors on this car. So I'm going to desaturate the entire body of it. All right, that's good enough for now. Let's see. You notice on the wing right here, oh, my computer's lagging a little bit. Uh, the traffic light is reflecting off that part of the wing, so I'm going to desaturate it and lower the exposure to make it more black. Let's see, let's bring up here a new brush stroke, desaturate, let's bring down the box just a little bit. Do another brush stroke just to make this part of the wing darker. Do another graduated filter, maybe for the top here, just a little bit. Bring the highlights down just a tad. Shadows as well, maybe a little bit of the saturation, get some color in there. All right, this section of the car right here is a little dark. So I'm going to do another brush stroke, Let me bring down the flow just a little bit, bring a little exposure in there, zoom in, ever so gently just add a little, uh, brighten up that dark spot right there, I guess. This, this part of the wheel right here, I'm going to desaturate just a little bit and bring the exposure down. It looks a little weird. There's some reddish tint right there. There we go. Let me check this other wheel here. That looks alright. Maybe brighten up just a little bit. 
in the shadows. You barely see the difference. Let me just. All right. Um, I'm gonna do a little sharpening now. Let's see. Let's go down here to the details. Press Alt. Bring up the masking just a little bit. Maybe like around 50. That's good. Just bring up the sharpen just a little bit here. In. Radius, just, just a tad bit. Okay. Detail. Oops, there we go. Put in a little bit of noise reduction. Zoom out. I'm going to press backspace here. So before after before after um it's pretty much done it's a really basic edit um there's a few things i could probably tweak down maybe like fix the uh the wheels here a bit darken the the, the street down here a little bit more but i mean you could also bring this into photoshop and remove this really ugly parking meter as well um there's a few things the other do to touch up but um i think my last tutorial i did it wasn't real time like this. It was me more of going to the side here and just uh, going to history and just clicking on what I had already edited. But yeah, this gives you a more general idea of how my workflow goes. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Go down below in the comments. Write down whatever you guys feel about this video or if you guys enjoy watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe. That's right. F-Spot's doing YouTube now.